Now here is the problem statement. A fluid flows down an inclined surface in a steady, fully developed laminar film of thickness h. Simplify the co continuity and Navier-Stokes equation to model this flow. Determine expressions for the velocity profile, shear stress distribution, volume flow rate, average velocity of the liquid, and rate the film thickness to the volume flow rate per unit width normal to the flow direction. Now here that fluid is flowing downward direction and this is the inclined surface means fluid flows down an inclined surface. So this is the inclined surface and fluid is flowing in downward direction. Now that film thickness is uh, film thickness is h and gravity is acting downward direction. Now if I draw the velocity profile, velocity profile will be the maximum at the surface free surface and solid surface the velocity actually zero and that inclined plane makes angle uh, with that horizontal direction uh, that is theta so theta is the angle between horizontal uh, with that solid surface now first we have to write the governing equation so first continuity equation dou u by dou x plus dou b by dou y plus dou w by dou z is equal to zero now here we are considering that flow is incompressible and viscosity is constant and this is continuity equation the Navier-Stokes equation so x momentum Navier-Stokes equation so rho dou u by dou t plus u dou u by dou x plus v dou u by dou y plus w dou u by dou z is equal to minus dou p by dou x plus mu dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square dou square u by dou z square plus rho g x similarly y direction then z direction now coming to the assumption based on the assumption we can solve the problem so assumption is already in that problem it is it, it, it is saying that the flow is steady and fully developed so that is the true condition so condition number one, assumption number one is steady flow that is dou u by dou t is zero and we also consider that the flow is incompressible so rho is constant and fully developed flow that is dou by dou x is equal to zero okay means if you consider uh, that flow here so that is u1 and suppose flow is here u2 and that uh, this is the x direction so uh, based on the fully developed flow in that in that straight line u1 it must be equal to u2 so that is fully developed flow so dou by dou x is equal to zero dou of something by dou x is equal to zero and another consideration is that there is a no flow or variation of properties in z direction means w is equal to zero dou by dou z of something that is zero now based on that four assumption we will solve we will simplify that navier stroke equation so applying assumption three and four to the continuation three is that dou u by dou z sorry something dou by dou z of something is equal to zero and fully developed dou of dou by dou x something is equal to zero so now here this is zero this is zero so dou b by dou y is equal to zero so based on this uh, uh, based on based on this dou b by dou y we can we can if we integrate we can say that v is equal to constant okay so if v is constant so other place v will be constant but v is zero at the solid surface so v must be zero everywhere as that v is a constant so v is zero which indicate as a five now this statement as v is equal to zero everywhere so that we can take as a that in, a, a indicator of five now applying assumption three four and five to the navier stokes equation that reduced to so now this is dou u by dou t that is steady flow dou by dou x that is fully developed flow and v is zero so this term will be zero w is zero this term will be zero and dou by dou x again fully developed flow zero this is fully developed flow zero and there is a no flow no variation in z direction that is zero and as v is zero that is zero or steady flow here again v is zero v is zero v is zero then here v is zero v is zero v is zero and here there is a no flow in w dire uh, no, uh, z direction so w is zero here w is zero w is zero w is zero and 
this w is again 0 w is 0 and there is a no uh, properties varying in z direction that is 0 so there is a no role in gravity in z direction that is also 0 so we got only this so that is also 0 now from continuity equation we got dou v by dou y is equal to 0 and mu dou square u by dou y square plus rho g x is equal to 0 and this from continuity equation this we got from x momentum equation I, this we got from y momentum equation so now we have to find out the velocity profile say stress distribution so we can use this equation now first uh, simplify the equation so first we have to calculate uh, the velocity profile so now this is the equation now here g is acting downward direction so an inclined surface make angle with horizontal that is theta now this angle will be theta okay now if we uh, so this angle will be 90 degree minus theta okay so now obviously this angle will be theta so now if we decompose so that will be g cos theta and this composition will be g sin theta that is parallel to the flow now we have to write gx is equal to g sin theta that i will put in that equation so d square u by d y square is equal to minus rho g sin theta mu now if i integrate so du by dy is equal to rho g sin theta by mu y plus c1 again if we do the integration so u will be rho g sin theta minus rho g sin theta 2 mu y square plus c1 y plus c2 now this is the equation now we have to uh, c1 c2 are the con integration constant so we have to find out c1 c2 for that we have to uh, use the boundary condition now what is the boundary condition so no slip condition at the solid surface means u is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 and 0 shear stress condition at the liquid free surface so du by dy is equal to 0 y is equal to h now plugging u is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 we will get u is equal to minus rho so this is the original equation now if we plug uh, that y is equal to 0 u is equal to 0 so we will get c2 is equal to 0 and we already uh, we also got here the du by dy is equal to minus rho g sin theta mu by u y mu into y plus c1 so now at a, a h y is equal to h du by dy is equal to 0 so from that 0 minus rho g sin theta mu h plus c1 so c1 we will get so finally if i plug c1 here so we get the velocity profile u is equal to rho g sin theta mu h y minus y square by 2 so now uh, we got this velocity profile now if i differentiate u with respect to y we will get this and shear stress we know tau y x is equal to mu du y dy so if we plug du y dy so we will get shear stress distribution so simplify uh, if we do the simplification means if the mu mu cancel out so tau y will be rho g sin theta h minus y now volume flow rate so q will be integration of 0 to h u b into dy so that is u into area now if we plug that u and then if we do the integration the q will be so if we do the integration and then put the limit q will be rho g sin theta mu b h q by 3 and we know average velocity so q is nothing but a into v so that q will uh, the v will be q by a okay so this is nothing but area so now we know the q okay and b h we know so now b h 1 b and h will cancel out so we will get that v average velocity will be rho g sin theta h square by 3 mu okay now from here we can calculate that thickness thickness will be h is nothing but 3 mu q by rho g sin theta to the power 1 by 3 so that will be the flame thickness so h is equal to 3 mu q rho g sin theta into b by 1 by 3 so okay b is there okay so b is there okay so we'll get flint thickness that's it thank you